Hi guys, I hope you are well and had a lovely Easter. In this video, I wanted to talk about vaccinating your bunny. Some of you may think that because your bunny will be indoors all the time, they won't need any jabs, but the reality is they can still get infected whilst always being inside, and unfortunately, these diseases are fatal, resulting in death, and there isn't any treatment, only prevention via vaccination for the diseases that it covers, which are myxomatosis and viral hemorrhagic disease 1 and 2. So let's start with myxomatosis. It's a virus that is spread by insects such as fleas, mites and mosquitoes and other biting flies. Rabbits can get infected directly from the insect bite or from already infected rabbits. Sometimes the virus persists in environments such as a hut so they can contract it that way as well. Symptoms include puffy swellings around the face, ears and eyes that may cause blindness. Swelling can also spread around the anus and genitals, high fever, extreme difficulty eating and drinking. It's fatal with death within 10 to 14 days from becoming infected. Sometimes it might be more prolonged, but ultimately they will die. Like I mentioned before, there's no treatment and recovery is very rare. At this point, euthanasia is often the best option to end the suffering. Um, also, sometimes even vaccinated rabbits can catch a milder form, but often can recover with intensive vet care. You can vaccinate your bunny from 5 weeks of age. The next disease you can get your bunny vaccinated against is rabbit viral hemorrhagic disease which has two strands and is therefore split into two types which is rabbit viral hemorrhagic disease 1 and 2 also known as RHD1 and RHD2. It's caused by a fatal virus causing internal bleeding and liver disease accompanied by a fever. It also attacks lungs and other organs. It does not affect rabbits under 6 weeks but is very severe in older rabbits. Unfortunately, there isn't any visible symptoms except for a fever and possibly trouble breathing such as constant wheezing, but not always. Death can occur rapidly within 12 to 36 hours of developing a fever. Bunnies that die from it are found with blood-stained fluid at the mouth and nose area. It's spread via rabbit-to-rabbit -rabbit contact and from environments such as clothing and carriers. There's no treatment and only vaccination of its prevention which can be given from 5 weeks of age. RHD2 is a newer viral strand which was detected in UK since 2013. It has a lower mortality rate compared to RHD1 but often only signs seen can be sudden death. Just like RHD1, it's spread by direct contact with infected rabbits and by environments such as carriers. It mainly affects the liver and recovery is possible but ultimately vaccination is essential, which can be given from 10 weeks of age and is a separate jab given at least 2 weeks from the first RHD1 injection. Like I always say, prevention is the best treatment and there's few things you can do to prevent those horrible diseases. The number one is to vaccinate your bunny as soon as they become old enough. There's a combined vaccine that offers annual protection against both myxomatosis and RHD1 and can be given from 5 weeks of age. Uh, if you let's say adopt a bunny and they haven't had jabs but they're obviously old enough, do it straight away. A single separate vaccine is required to protect against RHD2 and should be given from 10 weeks of age and at least 2 weeks after the first vaccine. You also have to give regular boosters annually throughout their life to keep the immunity up. You should also regularly clean and disinfect rabbits' living items and areas using a rabbit safe disinfectant. I just use white vinegar and water mix. Uh, those items may include litter boxes, uh, often changing their litter and bedding as well, regularly washing any blankets and soft materials they use, and washing their food and water bowls. Preventing contact with any wild or affected domestic rabbit and access to where they have potentially been. Controlling insects reduce risk of myxomatosis by deterring any insects such as using insect proof screens. And lastly, ensuring that other pets in your household such as cats and dogs are treated for fleas and other possible parasites. In terms of costs, prices will vary with each vet practice but for the combined myxomatosis and RHD1 jab it usually costs around 15 to 35 pounds. For the RHD2 strain, a vaccine can be anywhere from 20 to 40 pounds. Like with any medication, your bunny might experience some side effects which are usually very mild and can include 
A small increase in body temperature, which only happens between 1% to over 10% of rabbits, and also temporary swelling where the injection has been given, again only appears in about 1 to 10% of rabbits. This should improve within 24 to 48 hours or few weeks in case of swelling, but always contact your vet if you're worried and side effects appear serious or don't go away after a short period. When I adopted Snowball, she wasn't vaccinated, but I was given a free voucher for the first combined vaccine against myxomatosis and RHD1. I got her from Pets at Home Support Adoption Center, who are in a partnership with Vets for Pets and Companion Care Vets, and the voucher was only valid for those practices. I had to pay for the second RHD2 vaccine myself, which was £40. However, most rabbits at the shelters and rescues are vaccinated already if they're old enough, so you only have to keep up with the boosters annually. You will get a vaccination certificate like this one, which tells you when they received the last jab and when the next one is due. That's it for the video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Please vaccinate your bunnies so you don't have to watch them suffer and can enjoy a long life with them. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you very soon. Bye!